Tech News. Welcome to today's headlines. Hype up denies burning of Emo police stations. Asks DSS to question Uzodema. Hype up denies burning of Emo police stations. Asks DSS to question Uzodema. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. The members of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra Life Hub assert that its military wings, Eastern Security Network, ESN was not responsible for the burning of police stations in Umuguma and Omuma in Oweri West local government area and Oru East of Imo State. The pro Afro group would deny attacking the police stations. The two police stations is made this known on Tuesday through its media and publicity secretary. A more powerful adding that the claim was aimed at astonishing and blackmailing hype of the group however said that the department of state services dss and nigerian police force should question the state governor hope uzodima on the origin of gunmen across the state He said, we, the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra, hype up under the command and leadership of our great prophet and indefatigable leader, Mazi Unandekano, wish to de-associate our noble movement from the ignoble attack on the police stations. The attack happened at Umuguma and Omuma stations in Oweri West local government area and Oru East local and Oru East Imu State. Contrary to lies and false allegations by the Nigerian government, there is no iota of truth in the allegation intended to blackmail halls and tarnish our revered global reputation. We have said it severally that Hyperb and ESN are not unknown gunmen and we would never be. The enemies of our struggle have been looking for ways to link Hyperb with criminal activities been sponsored by Governor Hope, Uzodema, and the APC to demonize Hyperb. Hyperb BSN operatives have no hands in the attack. We challenge our accusers to provide evidence showing that the attack was done by Hyperb or ESN security outfits. Our mandate is not to attack police stations or individuals. Our mandate is the peaceful restoration of Biafra. We are much focused on the release of our leader, Mazi Unamdekanu, and securing the date for the Biafra referendum where our people can decide which country they want to belong to. Senseless attacks are not part of our mandate. We wonder why Nigerian police derive joy in feeding the public with lies just to deceive the gullible minds. Nigeria police knew who created and formed the unknown gunmen but refused to bring them to book. Instead, every day they keep linking IPOB 
an ESN to what? They don't know. Nigerian police and DSS agent must question Hope Uzodima about the origin of unknown gunmen if they want to stop the killer squad otherwise. They will not achieve anything meaningful. Hypop and Hiasan did not attack police stations, at attack Umuguma and Omuma boat in Imo State. The Imo State Supreme Court Administrator Hope Uzodema asked questions to answer. The members of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Hypop, has said that its militia wings, Eastern Security Network, ESN, was not responsible for the burning of police stations in Humuguma and Omuma in Oweri West Local Government Area and Oru East of Imo State. The pro Biafra group who denied attacking the two police stations made this known on Tuesday through its media and publicity secretary Emmanuel Powerful, adding that the claim was aimed at tarnishing and blackmailing IPOB. The group, however, said that the Department of State Services, DSS, and Nigerian Police Force should question the state governor, Hope Uzodima, on the origin of gunmen across the state. He said, will the global movement and family of the indigenous people of Biafra hype up under the command and leadership of our great prophet and indefatigable leader, Mazi Unnamdekanu, wish to disassociate our noble movement from the ignoble attack on the police stations. The attack happened at Omoguma and Omuma station in a very west local government area and a rural east of Imo state contrary to lies and false allegations by the Nigerian government. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what our 